Hi guys, the plan is to make a low ambient light pulse motor. Um, this is a power bank that had a solar panel on the front of it. Um, yeah, it doesn't hold charge anymore, that lovely big LiPo battery. So I've done away with it. But we have a perfectly good solar panel. This is a pulse motor I made either last year or the year before. It's all 3D printed parts in a nice cloche. The circuit board and the coil, which you can't really see just there, and the little solar panel are from a solar rocker, and it does work. But because it had been left in the sun, PLA, which this is printed from, goes soft in the sun. And you can probably see it's distorted. All this front side here is bent and bowed. So I've reprinted it. Just happens to be pink. That I've got little short pieces of PLA that I'm using up. So I'm going to replace the frame with that one. I think the actual disc there with the magnets on will still be okay. It is distorted. I don't know if you can see it's bowed in the middle, but I don't think that will matter. I can just adjust the height of the needle to allow for that. But instead of that solar panel, which is sufficient for in sunlight, we're going to use this solar panel, which is way much too powerful. But in just indoors in ambient light, like the lights in this room, or even without them on a reasonable day, that will be should be enough to actually run it. So I'm going to take these bits apart. Put that frame in there, transfer the bits across, and then take that little panel out and wire this one up. I think those wires will be just long enough if we're lucky. And we'll see if it works indoors. There's our parts from the solar rocker. There's very fine wires there. You might be able to see them. You don't want to break them. I cut the plastic from the original solar rocker and left the coil attached because when you try and get it off quite often you damage the coil when you're trying to pull it away from the glue circuit board and then solar panel which will disconnect and replace it with the wires going to oh, that one well i've just soldered it in place and as you can see it's going straight away there's no sunlight as such, although there's still enough for those solar rockers to be rocking over there. But the idea is we'll take this through there into the living room or dining room as that one is. So yeah, crazy big solar panel. Hope we don't cook the circuit board. So I'll take it in so there's no chance of direct sunlight. All right, well, it is working. We have the curtains drawn. Well, that one's not drawn, but there's no sunlight coming in. Um, but there is a problem. <laughs> Where I wanted to put it, there's too many metal objects around it, and it stopped because the magnets uh, were attracted to the metal objects. So at the moment, it's going to have to sit there, and I'm going to have to think where I can put it. I can't put it up there. I wanted to put it <laughs> yeah, here. All the metal things. 
you know, simple things like the stapler there. They attracted the magnet on the rotor and stopped it spinning. So I'll have to find somewhere else for it. But that is that is working fine off the the lights that are in here. And they're only um LED lights, so they're not halogen lights giving it plenty of power. But on the face of it, that's working. Well, I'm now we're trying to work out how many lights it actually needs on in our dining room. Let's just turn this one off. I think that's slowing down. So it looks like it needs a fair few indoor lights on, even with that big solar panel. Yeah, that's definitely slowing down. In summary, I don't think this is going to be as good as lid motors. <laughs> I'm trying to do a shortcut by using the solar rocker components. I expect he will do his own circuit. You notice it's going nice and fast now. I've just given it a bit of a kick to get it going. And it seems to maintain that speed if it's given a kick to get going. I say kick. I've got a magnet in my hand. I'll just give it a, a flick to go past it. That starts it spinning. And it seems to maintain that as long as I've got the lights on. If I turn any one of them off, then it hasn't got enough power. I've no doubt it'll work in here when it's sunny outside and we've got a bit of, a bit of background ambient light bouncing around. You'll have to watch Lid Motors' video, see what he's up to. I don't think I'm explaining it well enough. Now, a little update. I've been sitting here filming another little project that I'm working on and that's been spinning away quite happily in the background with the indoor lights on it which are all LED lights but if I turn any of them off there isn't enough power for it to keep running I just thought I'd do a little comparison that's one of my solar rockers out of the window He's just moving with the same light source as that one. Obviously, that one's got a much bigger solar panel. You can just see his arms are just rocking so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe leave us a comment so i know i'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.